Sky Sanctuary. That's it. Uh, anyway, hello and welcome to Sega News Bits. I'm Barry, with me is George. Hello, everybody. And we are discussing the Sonic Forces Villains trailer. Now, this trailer released on day one of E3. In fact, Aaron Weber was making the rounds to all those uh, streaming shows. He was on Twitch, YouTube, some other ones, uh, IGN. And he was showing off gameplay footage. We've discussed that. You can watch that video. But he was saying that something was going to be revealed the next day. And so I, I stupidly sat through the Nintendo press conference. Nothing happened. And then immediately after the Nintendo press conference, Nintendo released a trailer. So I'm, I'm actually wondering if Nintendo was supposed to play this trailer and then it ended up not happening. What do you think? I think uh, Nintendo got the trailer. They looked at it and they were like, this is too much hype. You know, we can't. <laughs> then it overshadow the Mario game, and they pulled it. That's what happened. I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you say overshadow? Exactly. As in Shadow the Hedgehog? Well, that's interesting because uh, this trailer it shows the gameplay that we've already discussed, of course. But then Sonic and Classic Sonic and uh, <laughs> Buddy the Wolf, or whatever his name is, they look surprised, and Shadow appears before them, and then the camera does a quick zoom. And we see other villains. We see Metal Sonic. We see Zavik, the Zeddy from uh, Sonic Lost World. And then the coolest of all, at least for me, was seeing Chaos Zero from Sonic Adventure. And then it pans up into the sky, and then we see this other guy that we'll, we'll talk about in a moment. But first off, uh, what are your thoughts on this whole villain dynamic? I actually, this is actually my favorite part. When I heard that they were saying, like, there's going to be forces in the world, I, I just assumed, like, all these forces had, like, an equal goal in mind. And I don't know what the story's going to be with all these villains teaming up together because it doesn't seem like they're with Eggman, or are they? Because, like, I've seen some promo images with them together. Mm -hmm. So, or maybe it's Photoshop. I, I don't know. I was looking it up right <laughs> now, so it might be Photoshop. But, right. So I don't know what that whole dynamic is, but I like the idea of them all teaming up together because I guess they all have little personality traits that it would be interesting if they try to work together that could end up being something interesting. Yeah, that's something you kind of saw in Sonic Lost World with those villains, they all interacted, but the problem is I don't care about any of them, you know? Yeah. So they'd be like, you just want to eat sandwiches. And that other guy's like, yeah, I do. The, the official word from Sega in their press release is that this trailer features an all-star cast of Sonic villains and introduces a brand new, powerful, mysterious enemy, Infinite, which, like I said, we'll talk about. So it goes through the villains. Uh, Dr. Robotnik, Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik, which is interesting, because they haven't really used the Robotnik name in recent games. It's been Dr. Eggman. Um, What's up with that? Maybe this is an Eggman from another dimension? Ooh. <laughs> um, they say, you know, the original Mad Doctor, yada yada, nothing new to us. Chaos, or actually, let's talk about Shadow. Shadow, it says, once called the ultimate life form, Shadow fights for his own reasons. He appeared in Sonic Adventure 2. So that's interesting. Like, if you want to if you want to discuss Sonic lore, you know, that Shadow was, um, he was a bad guy, or at least tricked into thinking that Sonic was the bad guy, and then he died. And then he came back, and he thought he was a clone, and it turned out to be not true. And then he was just kind of like, pushed to the side, just like Knuckles, just like every single um, friendly rival. And so this is the first time that he really factors into a plot since... 06, man, maybe? I guess 06, yeah, because after he that, was, he just... He was in that Sonic Boom game, but like he had no plot, basically. He was just there. Like They added him last minute. Yeah, and in the main series titles, he really... What, what has he done? He hasn't done much. And I think that's a problem with Shadow. It's so hard to write him. Like, they don't want to make him the main bad guy. They want to put shoehorn him in sometimes in some games. And he does nothing. It's like Knuckles. Like, I think that's one of the issues I have with Sonic Team. So I'm hoping they think of good ideas to put them in the story that aren't, that aren't like, annoying. And they aren't mm -hmm. just there for no reason. Yeah. The, the next one here, we have Metal Sonic. And, of course, he first appeared in Sonic CD. The press release says that he has returned... Oh, it says he's returned at a few key moments since. I'm trying... Again, I'm trying to think of a, the last game he really played a big part in. And, you know, he was in the Sonic Boom games. But in the main series, Heroes, maybe? Sonic Heroes? Maybe, yeah. So that's that's pretty cool that they're putting him front and center. He was in Generations, uh, but, I mean, he wasn't a big deal, was he? 
Yeah, and I mean, I know people are going to name generations, but really that was kind of like Sonic jumping back in time and re-experiencing these battles in, you know, in with modern technology. So this is really the first time a lot of these characters have returned and it wasn't either like a spin-off like Boom or a gimmick. Um, Chaos, it says here, an ancient power thought to have been quelled after the events of Sonic Adventure. His return is a mystery. Now, I, I think he's the most interesting one just because I think it's really cool to see Chaos and Metal Sonic next to each other. Or not, yeah, yeah well, Chaos, Metal Sonic, and Shadow, because I've always kind of seen them as generational um, sort of villains. You know, you had Metal Sonic was the big anti-Sonic, and then Shadow was the new, the new guy in town, and then Chaos was kind of tied to Shadow. There was that whole bile lizard thing. I don't think they're going to get into that sort of lore. But, yeah, what do you think of Chaos's addition? I I mean, it's kind of weird. I always thought Chaos was kind of a weird bad guy. It's like they only made him that way because they wanted to show off the the water effects that the Dreamcast could do. Yeah. So uh, it's always like if you look at all these bad guys, that that he stands out the most as, you know, different. Right, Um, of course. That could be a good thing, obviously, but... I don't know. I, I, I guess it's nice, but he doesn't have that much of a character. That's the thing. That's true. Um, and then we finally have Zavik of the four on the rock there. And, you know, he's from Sonic Lost World. What has he done since? He hasn't... He was in the comic books. He was... Yeah, he hasn't, hasn't done much. The, the purple one, he's been in... Um, what has he been in? Sonic Dash. And so they've, they've kind of been using him and Zavik. I like this guy more just because he's kind of the leader of them all and he's not crazy goofy. So maybe, yeah, we should talk about Infinity. Yeah, so let's talk about, uh, I was calling him Infinity too, it's Infinite. Infinite, sorry, not Disney Infinity, Infinite. Exactly, yeah, Infinite. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and so this, this weirdo flies in from the sky. Um, God, I don't know what to think of this thing. I mean... What's the first thing that you thought of when you saw him? I don't know. You know me. I'm like Mr. Positive when it comes to Sonic stuff, but the design's really bad. It reminds it. Remember that time we did that video where we looked at concept art for Sonic the Hedgehog characters? Does yeah, it remind of course. you of a, a concept art of Shadow? Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you guys have seen the, uh, and I'm talking to you, the viewer. If you guys have seen the Shadow concept art, which is showing up here, uh, there's there's four concepts here, and of the four, three of them is missing an eye. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and they also two of them have this like these hands like that just like this infinite does when he comes out you know kind of outstretched palms um, the shoes look really goofy I'd say infinite's kind of like the, the upper right the upper left one almost but then he ha- kind of has those weird wispy hairs like the lower ones in that Sonic picture and then uh, I don't know you, go, you know and you could talk about the fan theory they talked about the eye what was that? That, that the eye oh, looked like a... Um, yeah, of course. The the eye, um, I mean, you look at one and it's like a lightning bolt almost. It's it's kind of weird shaped. But the other one where you, you actually have the eyeball there, it looks like the time eater a little bit. And so I'm almost wondering if they're setting up some sort of like this weird dimension. Like the, what was that? Like white, that white dimension, that white space where there was nothingness. And that's where they sent... That's where they sent Eggman at the end of Colors, and then he met the Time Eater. So maybe this infinite guy is some sort of creature from this this dimension of nothingness, and it turns out that he has the power to access any dimension in any time, you know? So he's kind of like a, I don't know, that's kind of like Time Eater. That, that's how he brought all these villains together, and maybe he's the one behind the whole plot. Instead of Eggman maybe. taking over the world, it was him maybe. pulling the strings. Yeah, and maybe it could be that these villains were actually plucked right out of their moment in time when they were bad. I mean, you don't need to do that with Metal Sonic, but, um, I mean, that's a theory there, so maybe it's like, this is the Shadow, maybe they saved Shadow from drifting in space or something, or, or, I don't really know, I don't, I don't like when Sonic gets too into the whole time travel thing. Yeah, and what do you think? Do you think that Sega needed to add him as a character? Do you think that the series would have been fine enough with having just, like, a rogue gallery of villains? On one hand, I I do think it didn't need him. 
But then again, that would mean that Sonic Forces really doesn't have anything original outside of the uh, create your own character. Yeah. And I think, well, I mean, we have the created characters. That's three game plays, and now we have these bad guys. And I'm assuming these are going to be the villain for each stage as you can, you know, progress to the end, right? Right, yeah, we've seen a hint of that in the um, demo of Park Avenue with, um, I think, all the characters, but especially with Sonic. They say, you know, like, oh, Shadow's up ahead. There's reports of Shadow flying over the city. And then people have shown that when you get to the end, Shadow's actually standing there past the goalpost. So there's probably a, a cut scene. And maybe he's like, hey, Shadow, long time no see, you know, or something like that. Yeah, um, it says something really uh, like edgy. And, yeah, and I mean, on one hand, it looks like they're getting back into that, you know, like, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, uh, Sonic 06. Um, the kind of, big storylines that are, yeah, like, overly complex. And, yeah, and a part of me is like, I don't think they need to do that. But on the other hand, I've really found, like, of course I love playing Sonic games. Um, I mean, and I feel like I'm kind of, I've outgrown the story. I don't really care anymore. Um, but I think that might be because the story have ju has just been so light and kiddy, you know? Yeah. And so I would actually love it if the story ties in more with the past games. Like, we actually get a bit of some lore or some reason that uh, Chaos is there and Shadow's there outside of, well, we just picked him up from uh, the time hole, and here he is, you know? So what do you guys think about all this Sonic Forces villains and the new villain infinite let us know in the comments below and if you like this video like subscribe and uh shake your hips a little bit are you a villain are you a villain i mean being a bad guy is so much fun they should make a game where you just play as like shadow and Chilling metal sonic at yeah, the villain game yeah it's like 